All right. Hopefully, everyone should be able to see my screen. Looks like we are ready to go. So first of all, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, depending on where you are in the world today. Thanks for being with us. My name is Phil Bowers. I'm the Director of Marketing here at Grandstream. Really excited to be here uh, for today's topic, to introduce to you the latest and greatest member of our award-winning UCM series of on-premise IP PBXs, the UCM 6300 audio series. Uh, dur during the course of today's webinar, which should last about 25 to 30 minutes, going to give you an uh, in-depth overview of the new UCM 6300 audio series, which we just officially launched this morning. Gonna tell you about what it is, how it differentiates from our existing UCM, UCM 6300 series, which I guess for the sake of today, we'll call the UCM 6300 standard version. Um, also, we'll give you a little bit of uh, insight into uh, how this device uh, can be used, deployment scenarios, uh, who are the target customers for our UCM series, um, we'll also give you a quick overview of our UCM 6300 ecosystem, which is something we launched, launched towards the end of last year and is also something that pairs up with the UCM 6300 audio series. So webinar should run about 25 to 30 minutes today. It is being recorded. We'll make a recording available to everyone. Just want to mention here before we get started, uh, we do have Abdel from our support team uh, running the chat. Thanks, Abdel, for being here today. Um, however, I do want to point out that we had almost 500 people registered for today's webinar. Um, and as you can imagine, with that many people, the chat kind of gets a little bit hard to respond to and manage. So. Uh, definitely have some patience in the chat. Will you and Abdel will do our best to respond to what we can. We'll probably be focused more on just com some of the common questions coming in. Uh, so just wanted to point that out before we get started. All right, so let's jump into it again. We're here today to introduce you to the brand new UCM 6300 audio series. So hopefully everybody here is familiar with our UCM series of IP PBXs. Uh, which was first released back in June of 2013, so has been out for just about eight years, actually exactly eight years now. In that time, our UCM series of IP PBXs has won a ton of awards and grown into being really one of the leading on-premise IP PBXs in the world. We actually got into the UCM space, into the PBX space, kind of at an interesting time when a lot of other vendors were in the early 2010, starting to kind of move out of this industry, actually, we saw a great opportunity, a big gap in the market to provide IP PBX that provides the reseller or the end user business with everything they need, an all-in-one device with no licensing fees that has all the features and functionalities they need to set up a business communication solution or run their business. And that's exactly what we've delivered with the UCM series. For the last eight years, uh, there's been a, you know, we obviously we have the UCM 6200 series came out 2016, UCM 6510 right around that time as well. Um, and now this is the third generation of our UCM series with the UCM 6300 series, which was launched last November, and the UCM 6300 audio series, which was launched just this morning. So hopefully you all are familiar with the UCM 6300 ecosystem. This was uh, basically the, the solution that we launched the UCM 6300 series as a part of back in November. Uh, we're going to talk more about the UCM 6300 uh, ecosystem after I give you uh, that in-depth preview of the UCM 6300 audio series. Just want to show it here. We'll come back to it later on. But, you know, this is really what is, I think, at the core of the uh, third generation here with our UCM 6300 series. One of the greatest things about the UCM 6300 series, and that extends to the 6300 audio series, which I will show you here in a moment as well, is that the we have now a great variety of tools that allows the UCMs to reach outside of their local network. 
teaming it up with our Grandstream Wave app, teaming it up with our UCM Remote Connect to create secure remote connections, and GDMS to allow you to have a centralized cloud-based management setup and monitor for that whole platform. So again, we'll come back to this UCM 6300 series ecosystem later. Um, the UCM 6300 series, which now obviously this new audio series is a part of, is really, again, the anchor of this ecosystem. Uh, everything here that you see, the Wave, Remote Connect, and GDMS requires you to have a UCM 6300 series device. <laughs> So as we know, the UCM 6300 series, um, just like its predecessors, provides a high-end unified communication solution packed with an ecosystem of tools, uh, basically giving you the ability to unify all of your business communications onto one centralized network. Um, and you know, obviously, as we've talked about, one of the, the best new things with this UCM 6300 series is the ability to reach outside the, the local network. So, you get everything that you see down there, pretty much everything a business is going to need to communicate and collaborate with the UCM 6300 series. The uh, current UCM 6300 series is going to give you support for up to 5,000 users, has the built-in web meetings, and one of the greatest things about it, in my opinion, is that built-in video conferencing and video meeting solution. Obviously fully compatible with the ecosystem, GDMS. And one thing I do want to point out, and I will keep pointing this out, is you know we're talking a lot about our ecosystem here today. Do want to point out that these devices don't have to be used that way. That is just one of the options of the way you can use them with the other uh, products and solutions within our UCM 6300 ecosystem. We know that many of you guys still uh, will use these and moving into the future will continue to use these really as an on-premise IP PBX and that is also exactly what they are designed to do. So some great flexibility there. All right, so you're probably wondering why haven't I really told you that much about the UCM 6300 audio series yet. So let's jump into that. I wanted to set the stage with where we are with the current UCM 6300 series. I say current, it's not going away. That was a bad choice of words. The UCM 6300 audio series is something that we have launched in addition to. It is another option available to you, um, and it really just continues to build out the different model and spec options you have within our UCM 6300 series. So this new UCM 6300 audio series takes all of the features and functionality of the UCM 6300 series and the state-of-the-art platform that it offers, and it just removes video support. That is the main thing that you do get with the UCM 6300 series that is not included with the 6300 audio series, which is why we called it the 6300 audio series. So if there's really one thing you remember here, the UCM 6300 audio series does not have video support, but because of that, we're able to offer this at a lower price point than the UCM 6300 series, and that allows this to be a great option for businesses on a budget, or, or frankly, for any business that does not need video, which, you know, there are still many of them out there. We wouldn't have come out with this product if that wasn't the case. Um, so all in all, what the UCM 6300 audio series uh, provides uh, is a powerful yet very cost effective. You can check out our press release for uh, the US dollar retail pricing. Uh, don't usually give out pricing in these types of webinars because you know channel and different countries and whatnot can get complicated. But if you want to see the US pricing, check it out on the press release we put out today. Uh, super competitive. I guarantee you that you will be blown away by the price point these devices offer. So again, a powerfully a cost-effective solution, unified communication and collaboration solution for audio-focused deployments. So again, all of the features, all of the functionality of the UCM 6300 series, just with video support removed. There are a tiny couple of small other differences, and I'll highlight those for you uh, in just a moment. But again, 6300 series takes, or audio series takes all of those features, for all the functionality from the 6300 series and removes video. Allows it to be a great option for any business on a budget, anyone that doesn't need video, great for audio focused deployments. Uh, in, though it does not have video, it still has all of the other unified communication and collaboration features that our UCM 6300 series offers. So you've got that fully customizable voice platform, 
uh, full chat and I am built in with the ability to use our Grandstream Wave app um, to communicate and collaborate, uh, not just with chat, but also with voice and audio meetings and web meetings and whatnot on any device. Voice conferencing, audio web meeting platform built in, data and analytics, variety of different mobility. I mentioned our Grandstream Wave soft client. Uh, the ability to integrate and manage facility access intercoms and so much more. So again, everything that you're used to on the 6300 series, you get with the 6300 audio series, just with that video support removed. Um, there's also a little, little bit of tiny differences in terms of the capacity. Again, I have a slide in a moment, which will basically list, I believe, the four or five main differences in addition to video. Video is definitely the biggest one, though. Uh, so the capacity is a little bit lower. You're going to see that most of the uh, the four UCM 6300 audio series models are going to support just about half the capacity in terms of users and concurrent calls that you get with the uh, 6300 series. Just like I mentioned, all of those great built-in collaboration tools that you're, you're familiar with with the 6300 series available in the audio series as well, you obviously just can't hold those video calls or those video meetings um, or integrate your video surveillance or uh, video door phones or whatnot. Um, fully compatible with the ecosystem, just like the UCM 6300 series, which includes that cloud management through uh, the Grandstream device management system. And again, want to keep pointing this out. You know, we talk a lot about our um, the UCM 6300 ecosystem, and that is really what allows our this uh, device, these devices, excuse me to reach outside of their local network and, and really be the, the, you know, the ideal PBX that the modern business needs. However, it is also you know, fully functional on-premise IP PBX. When we say hybrid, that kind of means uh, using our ecosystem to combine the cloud options with the on-premise option of the 6300 series. Um, but obviously, you have the ability to use it just as the, the on-premise IP PBX that you all know and love for so many years. Um, so there are four different models within the UCM 6300 audio series. I'm going to go through them individually and break down them for you. Also have a chart uh, that will show you uh, kind of a quick view of those. You see the models in the picture here. The main thing in terms of the models to mention, as you can see, I think right away, is that the 6300 series has uh, the two lower end models, our desktop and the two higher end, our rack mount. A little bit different here where we have three desktop models, the 6300A, the 6302A, 6304A. Those are desktop models, and the 6308 does have that rack mount ability. Um, so here's what I mentioned earlier. In addition to the no video support, uh, these are these, this slide is the only differences between the platforms. Same user interface, same, same features, same functionality other than what you see here. So no video support, we covered that. Lower capacity, just kind of covered that. I will go into more in depth on that in a moment uh, with the comparison chart we'll show you. Basically, you can expect across the board uh, from the UCM 6300 series or comparing to that 6300 series, the 6300 audio series will just about give you half the amount of users concurrent calls, slightly lower RAM on the two smaller models. Um, and slightly less video conferencing rooms, but nothing major. So for example, the 6308, the, the standard version gives you support for 3,000 users, whereas the 6308A, this, the audio version, gives you support for up to 1,500 users. Um, we also, I mentioned the desktop and rack mountable differences. You're also gonna see one kind of cool thing, I, I think, and we think, is that we also in this series have one device that does not have any FXS or FXO ports on it. To my understanding, it's I believe it's the first UCM we've made like that, um, which allows the price point of that 6300A to be even lower than you probably might expect. So those are the main differences between the 6300 series and the 6300 audio series. With the audio series, no video support, slightly lower capacity, a little bit difference in terms of the desk the, the breakdown between desktop and rack mountable devices, or excuse me, um, IP PBXs, and the uh, no FXS, no FXL ports on the 6300A. 
All right, so before I real quickly go through the four individual models for you, here is the overall spec chart. You'll see across the top the amount of users it supports, 250, 500, 1,000, or 1,500 total users. Uh, call, uh, current, con excuse me, concurrent calls supported right below that. SRTP concurrent calls right below that, and as you'll see, that only slightly differs on the two higher models. Audio conferencing ports, you're going to get at least three all the way up to nine on the 6308 that supports up to 150 parties. It's the same amount of FXS and FXO ports across the board except for the 6300A, as I mentioned over there on the left. It has zero FXS and FXO ports. Three gigabit ports on all of them. Um, you're going to get at least one USB and one SD card interface on all of them. Yeah, I think most of the rest of this stuff we pretty much cover as we go through the models. So just wanted to flash this up there real quickly. It's, again, I think the main difference between or the reason that I, the way I usually break them down in my head is that those top couple of lines there are the amount of users they support. So all the way up to 1,500 with the UCM 6300 audio series. So let's go through the models here. We start out with the 6300A. Uh, one thing I should have mentioned already is that you'll see the 6300A, 6302A, 6304A are all going to use the same physical box that you have with the UCM 6301, 6302. Uh, so just in case they look familiar, they are. Um, so 6300A, 250 users, as we mentioned, 50 concurrent calls. You get three, mil three voice conference meeting rooms built right into it, support for up to 50 audio conference parties within each room. Um, as I mentioned, no FXS and no FXO ports on this device. And as you can see here from that picture, uh, just the three gigabit ports and your power port here on the 6300A. It's a great option for small companies, as you can see from the tagline up there, because of the price point, because of the streamlined nature that it offers. So now we move up to the 6302. You're going to double the amount of users as we move up here, and that'll be a theme. So we'll get 500 users on the 6302, 75 concurrent calls, five voice conferencing meeting rooms that support up to 75 audio parties. We do get the FXS and FXO ports here back on the 6302. Two of each, the same three gigabit ports you get on uh, all the models. All the models have three gigabit ports, so I'll just point that out now, um, as well as your power port. So as we move up, obviously, you know, this device, which gives you support for up to 500 users, really kind of, you know, increases the capacity, uh, allows it to be a good option for a small to a medium company, especially somebody who might be you know, a business that might be uh, growing or in the process of growing. So now we move up to the 6304A. 60, this 1,000 users, 150 concurrent calls, seven meeting rooms for 120 audio participants. Uh, so once you get up to 1,000 users, now we're talking more along the lines of medium to large companies. So just like the UCM 6300 series, the 6300 audio series really has a variety of models that can really allow you to have an option that is ideal for anyone from a small mom and pop shop all the way up to global enterprise. 6304, again, 4FXS, 4FXO ports, those same three gigabit ports there, as well as the power port. And now we will move up to, oh, okay, before we get up to the 6308A, um, as I mentioned actually just a moment ago, the um, or a couple of times here today, the 6300A, 6302A, and 6304A, and I realize there's a typo in the, the title on the slide, uh, they all are desktop devices. You can see them, uh, or from the picture on the left, they have that 320 by 4 or 240 color LCD uh, that gives you the ability to really kind of get a quick view of what's going on. Uh, with the device to be able to tell, um, like as you see in the picture, if the LAN might be disconnected for any reason or the WAN, what firmware version it's running, how long it's been up. There's a couple of different screens you can click through really just to kind of, you know, get a quick glimpse of what's going on with the device from that. Again, these are, are more desktop placeable, I guess would be the word, uh, not rack mountable devices. I um, mean, again, you get one, at least one USB and one SD card slot on every UCM 6300 series device, including these audio series devices here. So those are the 
6300A, 6302A, 6304A, and then the top of the line model here is the 6308A. This is going to, <clears throat> within the audio series, max out the amount of uh, users it supports. Here you're gonna get up to 1,500 users, so now we're talking medium to large companies. Up to 200 concurrent calls, you get nine audio conference meeting rooms uh, that support up to 150 participants. So really kind of spans the needs for any medium to large business. You've got your eight FXS, <clears throat> your eight FXO ports. You've got your three gigabit ports over there on the left. And as I did mention, I'm gonna take a, excuse me. <clears throat> I had to take a quick drink of water. Apologize for that. All right. And as I mentioned, the 6308 is rack mountable. You can this the picture here is the back end of it. You can see the the two little plates hanging off on the right hand side and the left hand side that make this a rack mountable device. So that is an overview of the 6300 audio series. Uh, this slide, which I completely admit is probably pretty hard to see unless you have a pretty big screen you're viewing it on. Uh, wanted to kind of put this up there just to kind of raise awareness for the fact that we do have this comparison chart available. Uh, we'll be up on our website within the next day or two. Uh, but really, this compares uh, the 6300 on the left, or excuse me, the 6300 audio series on the left to the 6300 series on the right. And pretty much what's in the box there are the main differences between them, and it's everything we've covered. Um, the amount of users and concurrent calls from the 6300 to the 6300 audio series, just about cut in half. No video support on the 6300 audio series. Um, <clears throat> yeah, those are the main differences, as well as the, the kind of the slight differences in the desktop and the rack mountable devices. So, Again, I admit this is probably very hard to see. Just wanted to throw this up to show you that the 6300 audio series and the 6300 series, pretty much except for what you see in that red box there, are pretty much exactly the same. Uh, just a little bit less capacity on the 6300 audio series and no video support. But as I mentioned throughout, that allows it to offer a lower price point, really making it a great option for any business on a budget for maximizing deployment budget that you have or for any business that just doesn't need video. And again, just like I mentioned throughout 6300 audio series, just like the regular 6300 series, fully compatible with everything in our UCM 6300 ecosystem. And I believe that is where we will get to now. Yes. So um, just pretty much the rest of the webinar here, the next 10 minutes gonna give you, just gonna go through our UCM 6300 ecosystem for those of you that might not be familiar with it or might be new to it. Um, so pretty much finished, just finished up the introduction of uh, the UCM 6300 audio series. Now just gonna wrap up our webinar here today by telling you about the 6300 ecosystem which provides the 6300 series, including the 6300 audio series, uh, with a really one-of-a-kind platform that allows it to offer both the, really the benefits of an on-premise solution and the benefits of a cloud solution. And that's why we, we ourselves are calling this a hybrid communication platform. It's really kind of one-of-a-kind. You're going to get, with the 6300 ecosystem, um, the reliability and control of an on-premise solution, your on-premise UCM 6300 series or 6300 audio series, and then the power, the flexibility, and the remote access of a cloud solution by pairing it with our Wave app, which I'll tell you about in a moment, and our UCM 63, or, excuse me, and our UCM Remote Connect NAT Traversal Cloud Service. The Grandstream Device Management System is also part of that cloud flexibility there. Um, do want to mention, as I've mentioned a couple of times here, the use of this UCM 6300 ecosystem with the UCM 6300 series is optional. You don't have to use UCM Remote Connect or the Wave app. It is a, they are available and they're for you to use. And these, as I go through, I'll explain why we think you should use them. Mainly in that it just makes it even easier and more secure for you to set up these business communication solutions and allowing uh, employees to be more flexible with how they utilize them. But if you're looking to use the UCM 6300 series or the 6300 audio series, 
just as an on-premise IP PBX, they are the best in the world for that as well. Just wanted to point that out that this ecosystem is optional. You don't have to use it, but we think it provides a really, really great platform uh, that kind of takes business communications to the next level and makes all of your jobs easier as well. So let's go in a little bit more in depth on the 6300 ecosystem and the part of it. Um, the main part and the anchor of it, the part or the, the product that you need to be able to utilize this whole ecosystem is the UCM 6300 series and now also the UCM 6300 audio series. Both are fully compatible with the whole ecosystem. And then the other parts of this ecosystem are our Wave app. I'll tell you about that in a moment. It is a great mobile desktop and web app that basically allows you to communicate and collaborate with every feature and functionality the UCM gives you and the ability to be able to do that on pretty much any device anywhere in the world. Uh, great for remote workers, for traveling, or for anyone that just prefers to, frankly, use a computer to make and receive calls or to join meetings, whatnot. Third part is our UCM Six, or excuse me, UCM Remote Connect. This is our cloud NAT traversal service. Really, the main part of that is to give you a method to provide plug and play easily securable connections for anyone accessing the UCM 6300 series outside of the local network to secure those connections from outside the UCM 6300 network to it and back. Uh, to ensure that anybody accessing, any employees accessing your network remotely are fully secure in doing so. So individual parts of the UCM 6300 ecosystem mentioned the Wave app. This is, as I also just mentioned, a mobile and desktop app. It is available, uh, it's available uh, as a mobile app for Android and iOS. It is available as a desktop app uh, for Mac and for PC. That would be the, um, excuse me, the desktop client. And it is also available as a web um, app, which would be just streaming within any web RTC browser. So super flexible in terms of how and where you can access it. And like I mentioned, it gives you the ability to make, basically do everything, access every feature and functionality the UCM 6300 series offers and the 6300 audio series offers on any device that you can download it on. So you can make calls, receive calls, join meetings, schedule meetings, hold video conferences, chat with employees, send files, plan meetings, all of that from any Android, iOS, or web-connected device, PCs, Mac, et cetera. Um, really is a great option <clears throat> for any employee who might be traveling, who might be working from home, who might be a hybrid worker going back and forth. Um, just provides a really easy to use platform to do everything you're gonna need to do um, from wherever you are, whether you're at your desk with a phone next to you or whether you're working from home, traveling in the field, um, you know, on the weekend, on your mobile phone, whatnot. The Wave app, which is fully free, you just need a UCM 6300 series to utilize it, is a great app to ensure that any employee, any business can communicate and collaborate from anywhere on any device with their UCM series. The UCM Remote Connect platform is, as I mentioned, our always-on automatic NAT firewall traversal. And so what this does is this provides a zero-touch, out-of-the-box platform to uh, basically to provide a remote, remote workers or anyone outside the local UCM network with the ability to communicate and collaborate with that UCM 6300 series. Uh, wherever it is located. It gives you the ability to build a secure collaboration solution for anyone accessing the UCM outside of the local network. Um, so it creates that secure tunnel between the UCM and the device. Uh, really just makes it, especially for you as a reseller, really quick and easy uh, to provide and set up these remote uh, hybrid working environments. Uh, nothing else that you have to do, you know, there are obviously, I'm sure many of you know, various ways that you can create something type, some type of similar connection or security with our other UCMs, uh, although it takes quite a bit of effort and quite a bit of kind of manual management and maintenance moving forward, whereas this is a fully automated platform 
integrated with GDMS allows you to create those secure connections and manage them right out of the box. This platform is based on Amazon Web Services. It is available for any Grandstream endpoint and for the Wave app. So basically any device or that app accessing the UCM remotely, we definitely recommend that you have this in place. You can currently utilize it for free. Go to gdms.cloud and you can learn more about UCM Remote Connect and set it up. The last part here before we begin to wrap up our webinar, as we're about 30 minutes in, I do appreciate everybody's time and patience here today, is the Grandstream Device Management System. Um, we say this is, part, this is part of the UCM 6300 ecosystem, but this is really, anymore, this is one of the best uh, solutions that we offer in my opinion. This is our cloud, and hopefully everyone's familiar with it, our cloud provisioning and management service, the Grandstream device management system, like UCM Remote Connect, fully based on Amazon Web Services, gives you the ability to basically do everything you're gonna need to do with any of our devices before, during, and after setup and provisioning all from a single interface, giving you that centralized cloud-based solution to deploy, configure, monitor, troubleshoot, set up access to Remote Connect, provide access to the Wave app, all of that from one centralized interface. One of the best things about GDMS is it is fully free. It gives you the ability, uh, especially as a reseller, um, service provider, whatnot, to deploy devices in true zero-touch fashion. The devices can be, uh, you know, we set them up, or excuse me, you buy them, we add them to a GDMS account, we ship them out to wherever you want them to go. As soon as the customer plugs it in, device fetches its a provisioning account and is all set up by GDMS. We can give you the granular access you want, or excuse me, we, you can give the customer the granular access to manage their devices if you want. But right then and there, true zero touch provisioning, get the device out, get it running, you never have to touch it. So that is the Grandstream Device Management System, GDMS.cloud. It is fully free, and there is no limit on the amount of devices you can use with it on the low end or the high. So as we begin to wrap up our webinar here today, the, uh, we talked about the UCM 6300 audio series part, which is the newest part of this UCM 6300 ecosystem. So now we essentially have two different UCM 6300 devices. We have the fully enterprise grade high end devices that have a full video collaboration platform built into it. And then we have the UCM 6300 audio series, which is going to give you a little bit less capacity and no video support, both when they pair up with the UCM 6300 ecosystem, give you the ability to have those UCMs easily, securely, and really in a very powerful fashion, reach outside the local network and be a great option for your modern business which the modern business nowadays, especially after the COVID era, is gonna be more dispersed than ever before. As I mentioned a couple times, also wanna point it out again, UCM, in addition to being able to be paired with this ecosystem, also is a, you can use it as a on-premise IP PBX. Ecosystem is just optional. All right, so to begin to wrap up here, uh, some of the newer markets that we've been seeing a lot of success with this year with the UCM 6300 series, and we expect that to really continue with the 6300 audio series, are, as I mentioned a moment ago, these dispersed businesses. I think we were going in this direction to begin with. COVID definitely accelerated it, but we are seeing more dispersed business operations across the world than ever before. Um, not only businesses that now have a, a whole network of remote workers, and obviously that's kind of the biggest thing, but now we're seeing businesses that have, you know, small offices or that have no offices and, and will have uh, workers just all working from wherever their homes are around the world. We've seen businesses as a result of, you know, this kind of move to more remote and more dispersed businesses who are hiring workforces all around the world because, Frankly, that is one of the benefits of this kind of remote era that we look to be going into. Um, so really, the, the two main things with this ecosystem, uh, because of the ability and the, the services and solutions we provide to allow the UCM 6300 series to reach outside that local network, it's been great 
And we've seen a lot of success for any business with a remote worker. And now especially enterprises um, and any businesses that are dispersed. And at least here in the United States, the most recent statistic I saw was that now over 70% of businesses in the United States have at least two different physical locations after COVID. And many of them are frankly gonna have more if you count work from home. So again, I mentioned this earlier, but one of the great things, and this is the, the last slide before we wrap up here, uh, the, one of the great things about this new UCM 6300 series, both the, the, the standard, the regular version, and the new audio series that we just released, because of the, the various capacity and the features that they offer, and now that we have a model that doesn't, you know, a series of models that doesn't have video and has slightly different capacity, really gives this 6300 series the ability to provide the ideal model and option for every type of business, whether you're a small mom and pop shop all the way up to a large business or a corporation, or if you need a more specialized setup like a, a hotel or a school. The UCM 6300 series with all the different models that it offers, with all the different specs, um, with the various support that it offers, the pricing gives you the ability to have find a device and cater it for every type of business and every type of need. And that's it. Thanks for being with us here today. We're really excited to announce and get the UCM 6300 audio series out there. Um, it is something that we really, you know, it, it is just another example of how we react to our customers and to our, our users and what they need. I would say that the almost the entire demand behind this and the entire idea behind this really came from our channel and frame, came from our customers who were telling us that, you know, there's definitely a need out there for uh, a slightly lower price device a UCM IP PBX. Maybe it doesn't have all the features and functionality, but still has what 90% of businesses need, and that's what you get with the audio series. So we're excited to add the audio series to the UCM 6300 series. Now you've got eight different models in the 6300 series to pick and choose from. Um, and they all, because of when you pair them up with this ecosystem we talked about, give you the ability to really build, in my opinion, the ideal communication and collaboration solution for the modern business, which is more dispersed than ever before. And like I keep mentioning, that UCM series is also a great on-premise IP EBX. All right, so with that, that wraps up our presentation here for today. I'm going to unshare my screen uh, so we can go through the chat. I'm aware that there are some questions about price. Um, I give me a second here. I will read you the U.S. retail pricing. Um, for any additional pricing, I would recommend talking to your Grandstream distributor or your Grandstream salesperson. So bear with me here for a sec. I'm going to unshare my screen, and we'll do what we can with the chat. Bear with me here for one second. I'm just looking up the pricing information. 